So where do I go from here? Now that I have sort of the basic structure of it, I know that this is the top, the next step is really solving this like a three by three. And the way that I would do that is I'd hold it upside down and I'd get this middle layer. Now in the ghost cube, this middle layer would be congruent. So it's not gonna be off center because it's these that are off center just like that. So the way that I would do that is I'd have to find is I would have to find the right centers. The center here is one off here and right up against it over here. So I, I could see that, uh, say, this, I know that, that the color, this is right up against the layer here and we're two off. So this would have to be, uh, no, we're one off, not two off. So it has to be one off and right up against it. So I know that this will come here. I know it by the color, but I'll also know it based on the shape. U, R, U, I, R, I, U, I, F, I, U, F. Okay, so this is this is actually the wrong color here. Let me just, two R, oops, two U, two R, two U. Okay, a little damage control here. But my point is this, to be in this middle layer, I've got a couple different types of edges. It's not going to be the one that's right up against it with two or one with two. It's going to be one with none. So this is right up against it and there's one across here. That's how they have to be. One up against it or right up against it with one. Not right up against it with two or one and two. So that's how I have to do it. So as another um, example. I would look at this and say this is right up against the center. So I'm gonna find the center that it belongs to. Here I can tell by the color. I will not be able to tell on the ghost cube. And then I'm gonna see that this is one off and I can move it down and say, oh, you know, it's correct or it's, or it's not correct. So this belongs over here. So then I would just do the algorithm. Put my faith in the algorithm. See, even alignment with when I know what it's supposed to do is an issue. So the, these are all in. And I'm going to look on the top and see if there's any more. So this is two that belongs there. There's never any that has two. It's one and none. Here's two, so that belongs here. Here's, here's two, and that belongs there. So I know without even looking at the colors. This is in, this is in, this is in. I'll know that this is one and this is right up against it. So it's just, it's where it's supposed to be. It's just not coordinated correct. So once again, I see this is right up against the center and is one off, which means it does not belong in this top layer. And I'll just provide the algorithm and we can see that this middle layer will be done. Now, it'll be a little confusing because I won't be able to match it with this center because these are in between, but I will be able to match every one of these to one of these centers. Okay, now we don't know if these centers are rotated correctly either. We don't know that. Um, I don't have really a way of knowing that. Now I can look at this and I can say that some of these centers, well, I just won't have a way of, <laughs> I just won't have a way of knowing it. So I'm looking here and although it may be hard to tell, well, where are the centers here? So it looks like we're pretty freed up over here. By doing this, I've freed up this side of, I've basically unbandaged this side. Um, this center, so where are my centers here? Are these the centers? This and this? Yeah, I'm going to say these are the centers. So these are going to be matched up with these guys. There's going to be the centers that just have one. Okay, I got to think about this. This has three edges and this has one edge. So amongst these, this edge lines up with this. This edge will line up with the one that has a three across it. Okay, it's still gonna be hard to see. So I'm gonna to try to get one in. And as I come across here, I'm looking here and I see this edge happens to be, I think with the right, nope, it doesn't. So it's a matter of what's upside down and what's, what's right side up. I have no way of knowing that. Okay, so here's the center. So what belongs with this center? Um, this might even be rotated 90 degrees for all I know. So 
what do I do? In other words, how do I know this isn't 90 degrees off? I mean, it could be. That's what I've got to decide. So, I guess what I'll do is first I'm going to look at what's on top here. This one is one off the center and this one is one off. So I know it doesn't belong here and I happen to have looked out because this is matched up with an extra center here. So I can find out which of these middle centers it belongs with. Now does it belong with this guy? And I'm going to say no because it's a little too set in. This is really set out. So I'm looking for a center that's really set out like this. So I'm going to move this down and then we'll see what we can see. First I have to line it up and I'm not sure where the true centers are. Um, yeah, let's see. So here's the center. I'm lined up now. I move it down and I see this doesn't match. But that doesn't mean it doesn't belong there. It just might mean that this is upside down. I'm going to make the assumption that it might indeed be upside down. This center is too small. So the center across from it is here. So that is a possibility. I'm going to move this down here and see that this doesn't belong here either. Maybe it belongs on the other side. So I'm going to try to move it. There we go. One, two. And I'm just going to place it in here and see. Look at that. Looks nice. It actually belongs there. So I know that this is within 180 degrees of where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to just move this down. I'm going to move this down and wonder if this is facing the right way. And I can maybe correlate it with this. Because this has two other centers um, across from it, there has to be two edges that this center will eventually line up with. So it's either going to be this one or this one. This one doesn't look like it matches. This one looks a little bit more like it might match, but not so much. So it makes me wonder, but I can I can fix that later. I'm going to do the algorithm to move this guy down. Um, yeah. Now the other question is, is this going to match up with the center, which it should? But let's let's see where we're at. So you, you are U I U I. R I see if we can do it. Let's see. There we go. U I F I and U and F. Okay. So we're making some progress because this does belong here, but you can see this center is not liking where it's at. Makes me wonder if it belongs with this center. So maybe it's upside down. So we're going to go. So this early part's going to be a struggle a little bit. One, two. All right, so it could be amongst any one of these. And the question is. Which one? And uh, how would I know? How to know? But that's how I'm going to decide if this is upside down or not. Where does this belong? Well, I suspect because when I look really deep at this, this is angled in uh, towards me. If I move this, I can make this angle towards me, and this can angle back. So it really could be any one of them, and I I just kind of have to make a call. So, yeah, well, I'll tell you what, rather than, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple deconstructions to see if I can make it fit. So I'm going to move this, and this is where I hope it doesn't snag too much, because I have to remember everything I did. I'm going to move this down, like so. I'm going to bring this temporarily down, like thus. And now I'm going to move this up and see if it matches. And it doesn't. So now very quickly, I'm going to move this down. However, I'm going to move this down once more like so. And now move this down. Hopefully I can get out of the snag quickly. Like thus. And I see it... Ah, uh, does it? No, it doesn't. So I'm going to move this back up. 
And that looked a little closer though, I gotta say. Move this down again. And do one more valiant attempt. We're snagging, does not want it to happen. Does not want it, there we go. And, uh, aha, uh -huh. yes, that's good, I think, that's good. Okay, so I have to remember that because that's the direction that this has to go. Okay, so I move this up here and I wanna coordinate that with some centers here and I kinda lost track of where I was going with this, but if I move this down here, this doesn't really fit. Uh, let's see if I can get it up. Let's see if I can move this here. I don't know if I can. Boom, okay. However, I think that if I move this twice, if I bring this uh, 180 degrees, this will be able to make it down to here. So I'm gonna try that. So I'm gonna wanna move this, so we're gonna go one, two. Gonna move this twice. One, two. Bless you. Having done that, I'm gonna move this twice. One, two. Now we're gonna move this back. One, two. And now move this up. One, two. Okay, so what that should have in essence did is allow this, when I move this edge down, this edge down, it will in essence uh, accept this. Yes, so that's good over there. That's all fine and well. But now, I'll go this way then, but now I have to make sure that it lines up with this center. So will this um, line up with this. Well, I have to figure out what has to end up on this side. It's obviously not going to be that. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to move this out of the way. And now I'm going to do a move like this. I'm just going to do um do a F. Well, do a 2F. Well, actually, I want to see what rotation of this is going to work. So I'm going to do, do a 2F, because I suspect that's the one that's going to function. 2F. And I'm going to do a U to see if it matches. A U to see if it matches. Oop, oop, oop. There we go. A U, and I see it matches. So bring this back and do a 2F. Okay, which means I have to move this 180 degrees. I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go one, two. Bump this out of the way by going one, two. Move this twice. One, two. Move this back. One, two. And then move this up if I can. One, one. Two, okay. So these centers should be able to accept this guy. And now we're just gonna carefully do our algorithm to put it in. Ooh, actually, haha. This matches here. This needs to rotate 90 degrees. This needs to come over to here. Because upon doing that, once I move that in, I try to minimize motions as much as possible because of the snagging effect. But once I move this in, all of these will be in, so that's good. And I know it has to be oriented right, because otherwise it would not m mix with both of those. Now I'm unable to move this up because I am snagged. I'll just keep moving this down until I get it. Okay, so, so I know that this has to move 90 degrees, so let's bump this out of the way. And it's not difficult in concept. Oh, look at this then. Okay. Anyway, so this has to end up rotating 90 degrees counterclockwise. Yeah. So we have... Let's match all these guys up. It wants to, but it won't. Yes, yes. One, two... Bring this out of the way. 
by going one, two. Okay, move this 90 degrees counterclockwise, like this. Bring this back by going one, two. And now rotate this, one, two. Basically, super cube center rotational technique. Okay, now I am ready to find my guy. Hopefully I haven't destroyed it. And now we're gonna move this to here and get our first edge in. So that's gonna be carefully UI, LI, U, L, careful, U, find my way to an F here, U, F, nope, I'm malaligned. I gotta slowly find my way to the right alignment or else I am sunk. There we go, I think, I think, I hope. F, and then a UI, if I can do it. UI and FI. Okay, so we can see there it is. So I know a couple of things. I know that this is gonna be the center that is like this, and this is gonna be the one center here. So this is aligned correctly over here. The question is, which one of these matches up correct? Is it this one? Nope. Our theory is it's this one. And it's got to be lined up correctly because these are matching up with both of these. And does this match up with this? Well, I don't know. This might match up over here. It's hard to say. Because uh, this, these, these have to be rotated correctly because this is the only way that this is going to match up with these guys. Okay, so now that I know that that's matched up, I'm going to continue to find other edges that are like this. And they have to be one that's right up against it and one that is one off. So here's right up against it, and this is one off. So this does belong, does it belong here? Does this belong here? Well, I can just put it in and see what happens. Um, I could just do that. Or I could take a little risk by bumping this out of the way. And now I'm gonna do a F. So we're gonna do an F and uh, okay you can see that that does not work now we may be snagging our way out of not being able to get this back but I know that it's an FI if I can find my way to move this back from whence it came which ain't easy it's all snagged up with no place to go um, all right I would love to get this to here. There we go. Boom. And splat. Bang. Okay. So I know, what do I know? I know that this doesn't go here, therefore it must go with this. It must go with this guy. And now my question is, uh, okay, it must go with the center. So now how am I going to rotate it to get it in correctly? So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to move this up to see if it's already rotated correctly. Like this. Now I'm going to move this in to here. And I see that that's not correct. So I'm going to quickly move it back. And I'm going to move this back. Boom. Okay, so I'm going to move it the other way, like so. And now I'm going to move it like this. Okay, this matches up. So that does fit. So because of that, I know this is within 180 degrees of where it needs to be. But is it correct? Well, if I move this into here, then this is going to match up with this guy down here. And if I move this here, I can see it doesn't quite seem to fit. Now, I don't have the benefit of this piece to guide me. 
However, I know this must be rotated right. This must be rotated correctly. So if I, oh, actually, ha. If I move this here, this does not seem right. Now because of that, I'm gonna say this is 180 degrees off of where it's supposed to be. 180 degrees off. So because of that, I'm gonna simply take this, I'm gonna go one, two, um, and let's see. Okay, one, two, and this will go here, two, one, two, this will come back, one, two, and then this will come back here. Now, I'm making some assumptions, but they're kind of informed assumptions, I think. Uh, now, where did our piece go? Where did our piece go? That's not it. I think it was here. And the assumption is that this is going to come down to this center. We don't know if this is rotated correctly or not. So I'm going to move this down and just sort of see if this center appears to be correct. And that we don't know. So I'm just going to put this in just to hold its place. U, R, U, I, oops, not the whole thing, R, I, U, I, F, I, U, and F. Okay, so this is correct. So I know this is rotated correctly. This is rotated correctly. Um, this is rotated correctly. The only thing I don't know is this. Okay, so this looks pretty good here. Even if it's not completely lined up. The only problem, it looks like this does find a nice home with this. This is in the middle. So I'm liking where this is going. This center I'm kind of doubtful of. This, this is a doubtful looking center, but I'm not sure. This might have to be rotated. But I can hit that when I need to. Um, is this fine? No, this is two. So it looks like, if all is well, I have one more that needs to be deposited here. So one and two, it's not that one. One and two, it's not that one. One and right up against it, so it's this one. Okay, so this will be the one to tell. If I move this down, it should match, and it does. Aha! Okay. So we have U, R, U, I, R, I, U, I, F, I, and U, F. Okay, so I think this middle layer is fine. It's not too ghosted. I think we're good. The only thing that I'm questioning, potentially, is the orientation of this. I think I, uh, there, there may be a sticker missing here, but this is coming out. And is this going to line up? That's hard for me to say. But I'm going to hold its place there for now and hope for the best because it'll still just be a 3x3 solve, but I have it in this position. The next is now to move and do the top part here.